chasing the police every single day. Miss, do you know about jury nullification? Don't even talk to me. No victim, no crime. Yes, and you're a criminal. And so are you. I am not. Everything's illegal. Would you like a jury nullification flag? There they are. When are you guys going to come out with the bullhorn? They love bullhorns here, man. Yeah. They do. Hey, I actually want you guys' card. I want your card, man. You what are you all about? All right, I'm jury notification. I sadly have experienced the system. I was a guy that they found guilty here for free speech on oh, a wow. sidewalk. Really? Oh, dead serious. I was pro I was uh, uh, protesting abortion. Dude, they found me guilty of disturbing the peace for protesting abortion on sidewalk. Oh, you had the bullhorn. Uh, no, the other counter protesters did. Yeah. I did not. Do you know what? Do you know what the prosecutor told the jury? I am cited the counter protesters to use a bullhorn therefore I'm guilty oh boy. that's how messed up our so after experiencing sadly the court the police and jail okay do you know what jury notification is no. okay, see this is how we got rid of prohibition and slavery if you if you feel that they're not guilty while you're a juror yeah. no victim no crime you don't have to find them guilty we got rid of prohibition because we are sick of the war on alcohol okay. for nine stomachs and 30 infirmities you got to drink it sometimes right <laughs> Anyways, and, uh, I know, I know. And then, and then on slavery, did you guys know in the North, they, they were making the North turn into slaves because if you didn't, you would be charged with a crime. So they started finding them not guilty. Can I give you a card if you give me a, I want your card, dude. You guys need a bullhorn. Bullhorn is legal here. Come see us at church. Bullhorn is legal here. You know that, right? Yeah. There's no noise ordinance. Yeah. The only place where you're going to get screwed is in the park. You're not in a park. Yeah. yeah. And and if you do it inside there, yeah, then you're then you're screwed. So you guys are the ones I heard that were here while I was gone. Yeah. Dude, a whole year they they screwed my free speech. A whole year. I didn't dare come out because they're going to they might turn it into a crime again. Are you guys friends with the Fort Myers uh, protester on the beach and in Fort Myers? No, we're no, not really. No. Uh, the, really the protest that we protest is like a protest against sin. Yeah, so well, just, he is. Yeah, so we're just they like, are. Um, we're just trying to share the gospel with people. Right. Let them know, like, hey, there's salvation in Jesus Christ, Jesus right. Christ alone, and that like the world is wicked. Just like you see, like the like the system can can be oppressive and like all yeah. these different things Corrupt but like take yes because, that's what's happening but Correct. jesus overcame the world we can only expect like the world to do right devilly things because right. the world is run by satan do so, you know who was i was inspired by who? jesus they crucified him for free speech did they not yeah, but right he, yeah but I, I see what you're saying but man <laughs> just, let's never go away from the gospel message right of, like he died for our sins calvary yeah, chapel you know? where's that one uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll cruise on the other side of the street so we don't bother you. Right. Yeah, we're um, on the other side of the highway. Go past the highway down right. to 17. Uh, there's a 7-Eleven on the right-hand side. Yes. Take that next right. Right. Go down there about a, a quarter mile. You see the little Baptist church. We're kind of tucked away behind that Baptist church. Interesting. Yeah. Are you new? or no, I've been there, uh, what, six years now? Right. Uh, line by line teaching. So You guys teaching. need to come down here all the time. This place is messed up. And you still... I still think you need a bullhorn. It is not illegal. <laughs> it's not. Like cowbell, you know. <laughs> it's oh, not. Bullhorn, oh, you know these are hot right, issues right now. Bring your own bullhorn. These are hot issues. You guys yeah. don't want to do the abortion issue? That thing is super hot, yeah. man. Yeah. Like I said, I went to jail for that crap here. I think that needs to be done more. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? What about the LGBTQ thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like this uh, message uh, I heard this morning. Like, you know, uh, God came to save the people who are lost. And, right. Like, the LGBT community and uh, pro abortion is right. They're, they're lost. They need Jesus. Right, correct. You know what I mean? And like, that's the message we need to preach is that Jesus, man. You don't you want to go full Westboro? Come, uh, no. Come to Jesus. That was a joke. And then Jesus will transform your life. You know? Right. But telling, like, telling somebody to just be better. How long did it take you to realize that you know? Right. I didn't know right. you were yeah. Right. But, dude, we're across the street. Yes. God bless you, man. You need a bullhorn. You need a bullhorn. You need a bullhorn. You need a bullhorn. You need a bullhorn.
All right. Well, okay, can I tell you one more quick thing that you needed to that I found out when I was in there? I'm serious. This is real deal. Yeah. Okay, did you know, sadly, this last time I was in there, 30 days, did you know that they are pumping out homeless people? There is no halfway house in all of Charlotte County. Are you aware? No. Not That's really. a huge need. So you got people coming out literally going, literally no house, no car, no nothing. So that's a huge thing. And then also too, they used to have, uh, um, they used to have uh, work release. You can work and then go to jail at night or weekend release. They don't have that. All they're doing is they're, they're just no bond. You stay there until you are completely broke. You know what I would suggest is what? like, if someone comes out of the jail system, right. go to a church. And go to the body of Christ right. and get help there. Well, I've been waiting for you guys to tell you. Yeah. Because I heard you were here. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, what we need to do is tell those people that are coming What's out What's your name, there, man? Hi. Oh, What's your name? Andy. What's your name? Jim. Good to meet you. All right, Matt. Right. Good to meet you, All man. All right. God bless you. We'll, we'll yeah. So later. you you got the word, man. We need halfway houses, and you guys know what that is, right? It's yeah, a house yeah. halfway. Yeah. And we have halfway none. Houses. Come on. We need halfway houses and bullhorns. Yes. <laughs> yes. I got one in the car. Do you want it? No. Damn it. So have you ever heard of jury nullification? You do not have to find everybody guilty? Yeah, man. You have the power to, that, to judge on your conscience. That's correct. No victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. Exactly. So, yeah, you're on the jury. It's the most important. Yeah, so if, you're yeah. The jury. if you think he should go guilty, not guilty. Don't That's listen to correct. The prosecutor. Don't listen to the judge. That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. Prohibition, slavery. That's how Kyle Rittenhouse got to go free too. You know, they had one good jury, probably. That is true. Judge instructions. It's like, okay, yeah, no, this don't don't take this man's life, labor, property, combination thereof. That's correct. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, Very everyone, good. Everyone, yeah, no, now everyone needs to know that. Yes, yeah, they do. Judge Johnny. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. You ever heard of jury nullification? Sir, do you know about jury nullification? That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You do not have to find everybody guilty, correct? That's right. No victim, no crime, man. We're supposed to be a free country, right? Oh, so you got to experience it sadly like I did, so you already know. Oh yeah. yeah. It's yes. No victim, no crime. Very good. It took a whole year, man. This is sad. And I and I still feel like I can't go for full free speech because as you've been reading, dude, they're they're trumping me, man. Anything and everything they can do, man. What you got today? All right, today is jury nullification. As you know, you do not have to find everybody guilty, correct? Correct. No victim, no crime. That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. I did not know about that in slavery. Did you? No. Oh. Did you know during the slavery times, even the North that was against it, they had a law that if they saw a slave, they had to turn him in, and if they didn't, they would be charged. And that's why they started doing jury nullification all the way back then. So what all does right. that mean, man? So jury nullification means this is how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You do not have to find everybody guilty in court if you think there's no victim, no crime. Um, that's why they, they kept voting not guilty in prohibition, because that's a BS law. Same thing with slavery. Did you know during the slavery time in the North, even though you were against it, it was law you had to turn in a slave, even though you're against it. And if you didn't, you would be charged. Hmm. Would you like a brochure? No. no All right. That's okay. It's so, yes. Understand yeah, you do not have to find everybody guilty. All right. Thank you. You ever heard of jury nullification? That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. Would you like a brochure? Jury nullification, you don't have to find guilty on everything in court. Okay. If you don't think the crime fits, then you can vote not guilty. Okay. Thank you. Have you ever heard of jury nullification? Uh -huh. I know, it took a whole year. Is that sad? Oh, man. Unbelievable, man. Very, very sad. Oh, what can you say? Uh, I can say that I don't have free speech apparently here. Do you? No, nobody does. All right, so it's it's bad and for they you can too, discriminate right? Discriminate against you. Now. That that nobody is correct. Is allowed to. That yes, I saw that Supreme Court ruling. You are correct. It's pretty messed up, right? 
Well, that's what you get when you get Donald Trump and he appoints three judges right. that will ruin the country. But that's not just happening there. It's happening in Florida, too. The well, Santa's well, is... Put it this way. He's a mini, a mini Trump? Uh, he can, yeah, he can be as bad as Trump. Right. He, he, he can try to out-Trump Trump. Right. But uh, <laughs> one of the things I like to say... Right. Now I'm an independent. And I right. I don't necessarily love all the Democrats. Right. You ever notice that the Republican Party, the Communist Party, and the Russians all are red? Right. Oh, okay, there you go. Red. Right. I think that's telling us. Uh-oh. Right. You should make a sign, man. Well, right now I got the best one. All right, there you go. Yep, that's a good one. Very good, man. Right now I'm running around with this one. Uh, that's fair. I'm going to run all with this and jury nullification. You already know what this is, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Do you need a brochure or you already know? No, I already know. All right. Very good. All right. I'm going to inform some people, man. Okay. Good to see you. Hey, After a year. You. Unbelievable. You ever heard of jury nullification? That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You don't have to find everybody guilty. If there's no crime, there's no victim. Oh, thank you. Yes. Keep that in mind. That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. Thank you. Yep. You ever heard of jury nullification? It's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery in America. You do not have to find everybody guilty. No victim, no crime. Thank you very much. I like your shirt. I'm trying to save lives too. The, uh, jury nullification. Would you like some information? That's how we got rid of uh, uh, prohibition and slavery. You do not have to find everybody guilty. Okay, thank you. Sir. They don't tell you that anymore. You ever heard of jury nullification? That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. Would you like information? You don't have to find everybody guilty. Was it for? Jury nullification, a lot of people don't know that you have the right to find uh, people not guilty if you don't feel that uh, the crime fits. We're too old to be on a jury. Oh, man. But that's, who, that, that's who's on the jury all the time here is older people because that's all that's 80, here is older 86, people. 86, they don't want you anymore. Are you serious? And I'm 83, so. <laughs> wow. Why? They consider you racist or what? I don't know. I think they, they think you're senile, I guess. That is sad. I At did not we're know that. Not. There you go. Very good. You have a good day. God bless. Yep. Yes. Very good. Yes, people need to know, right? Yeah, absolutely. Did you know after I did it last week, they posted it on the Facebook page for the court? Uh -huh. They said our juries are good. We would never crucify people. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You ever heard of jury nullification? You do not have to find everybody guilty. You can find them not guilty, no victim, no crime. Would you like a brochure? Thanks. That, that's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. <laughs> Finding them not guilty. Thank you. I like that. You ever heard of jury nullification? You do not have to find everybody guilty. If you think the crime does not fit, you can vote not guilty. Okay, that's how we got rid of slavery and prohibition. Yep. You ever heard of jury nullification? Very good, thank you. No victim, no crime, man. We're not supposed to be a country of all illegal, correct? You ever heard of jury nullification? Excuse me? You ever heard of jury nullification? Yes. Very good, that's how we got rid of slavery and prohibition, correct? Yep. You do not have to find guilty, thank you. Would you like a brochure? No, thanks. All right. Sir, have you ever heard of jury nullification? It's, it's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You don't have to find everybody guilty if you're a juror. You feel there's no victim, no crime, you, you can vote not guilty. Thank you. Thank you for not trying to kill me, I appreciate it. <laughs> People don't like to hear the truth, sadly. You know about jury nullification? No victim, no crime? You don't have to find everybody guilty, man. Would you like a brochure? I, I mean, I'm a lawyer. What do you? What do you Holy mean? Jesus! <laughs> you know they don't teach this anymore. Jury nullification. That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery, man. You do not have to find everybody guilty if there's yeah. no victim, no crime. 
Okay. I mean, I'm a, I'm a corporate lawyer, so I don't, I'm not a... Ah, uh, that but. sucks. You want a brochure anyways, so you can learn more. Sure, why not? All right, can I have your uh, card in case I need you? Yeah, sure. I think I have one. I forgot my card. Well, how long you guys lived here? Just a couple months. Two months. All right, so then, yeah, you might not know who I am. So I'm the guy that they banned free speech here for, sued him twice, won, and then they turned my third free speech uh, on a sidewalk into a crime, and, dude, they found me guilty, jailed me. Well, I work for home the night, but I don't have a card on me. Right. And I don't have my, my, with my wife's card, not my card. Right. But I also can tell you my firm doesn't do free speech right. lawsuits. I do international corporate M&A, so. Wow. I I, there's nothing my firm Right. Does. Okay, any pro bono? We do pro bono. Right. But it all gets coordinated through Tallahassee and New York City. So, like, I have zero. Uh, you like freedom? Huh? Do you like freedom? I sure do, but there's not <laughs> something I can do. All right, if you get bored, look up Andrew Sheets on Facebook and Google. You'll see all the crap I've been through. They literally put me in jail for free speech on a sidewalk. Well, what were you saying? Uh, uh, I, I was protesting abortion. I was almost aborted, so I was protesting abortion. Okay. And, yeah, they, they fried me. You know what they did? They, they asked the state attorney, how can we stop them? They said if they find enough people to complain, they'll turn it into a crime. Is that legal? Okay, I, all, right, I got it. all right, I know the kids are cranky. Right. Look at Andrew Sheets Facebook, Google, you'll see it all. You guys know about jury nullification. No victim, no crime. You do not have to find everybody guilty. Thank you very much. That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. This, you ever heard of jury nullification? That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You do not have to find everybody guilty. Thank you very much. You ever heard of jury nullification? That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You do not have to find everybody guilty. Would you like a brochure? You do not have to find everybody guilty. That's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery. You know what? I, no, what it, what it is, if you're asked for a jury, you know, they want to find everybody guilty, you do not have to find everybody guilty. If you, fi if you feel that there's no victim, no crime, or the law is unconstitutional, or the punishment is way overboard, you can find not guilty. I've done that before. Yeah, that, and that's how we got rid of prohibition and slavery, because people were sick of it. But sadly, now everything's illegal. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah.